Hello everyone, thank you for joining me today. Today I'm gonna to be going over our outside the waistband holster for the Berna XL. I'm gonna go over how to adjust for tension, the carry angle, and the ride height on it. So, what is the Berna XL? The Berna XL is the extended version of the Berna HD. The XL is about three quarters of an inch longer and a little bit taller than the Berna HD. The reasoning for that is you can put a different CO2 cartridge in there as opposed to the eight gram, you can now put in a 12 gram. The unfortunate thing is it makes the holsters different because this will not fit in your traditional Berna HD holster. So we had to make another holster for it. So we made the Berna XL holster, which is a little bit longer and modified a little bit to fit the Berna XL. Now, the Berna HD will not fit in the Berna XL holster and vice versa. A couple considerations for the Berna XL is that it is much longer and therefore it's going to ride a lot differently on your belt. I'm gonna be doing a little bit of uh, examples of what we can do to help mitigate that, how we can adjust that, how we can make it work for different people, different body types. The primary way that you would carry this holster is at the strong side. So this is a left-handed holster because I'm a lefty and I would wear it on my left side. We offer our Berna XL with different size belt loops. We offer one and a half inch, one and three quarter inch, and two inch size belt loops. The two inches would be for your duty belt, and the three quarter inch is usually for your larger, more kind of rugged belt, and the one and a half inch is for your average belt. Obviously, you should measure your belt to make sure that you know what size your belt is, so you order the correct belt, because if you order a three and a quarter inch for a half inch belt, you're gonna have a lot of play, and if you have the wrong size belt loop, it's not gonna hold the holster as securely as you need it to. Our Berna XL series are made after our Creed series. We have screws that hold the belt loops in place. In order to adjust the ride height and carry angle, these screws can be removed and moved up or down accordingly. I'm gonna show you guys a little more detail how to do that. And then we have our retention screw. This can be tightened or loosened to achieve the retention that you need. Uh, as this is a Kydex holster, they don't last forever. So over time, the holster will kind of lose its snappiness. So over time, it is recommended to tighten the retention. Also, we include Loctite. Loctite is mandatory to keep the screws from backing out because over time the screws will back out and then you lose the screw and then your belt loop falls off and your holster falls off and you look really uncool. And one final consideration for the Berna XL holster is although it is technically designed to be as concealed as possible and ride as close to the body as you can, the Berna XL is very large and it is very difficult to conceal. So unless you're wearing like a jacket or a very large sweater, this is gonna be more of a open carry outside the waistband holster. If you're looking for a duty holster, we have our Apex series, and our Apex series is gonna be more geared towards duty use, so I would recommend you look into those. And more information on that can be found on our website. So, to adjust the retention, we use this screw right here. We tighten it to increase the retention. And then we loosen it and there is much less retention. Now your retention is all determined by your personal preference. There always should be a little bit of retention that way if you end up falling, the gun doesn't completely come out of the holster. So a little bit of retention is required. So retention can be increased or decreased via the retention screw. Tighten it to increase retention and loosen it to release the retention. Now, to adjust the carry angle and the ride height, we will go through these screws. So we will unscrew these, and then this is what we have. We have two rubber washers, one on each post. That gives it uh, a bit of a spacer. You can add or remove those if you desire, depending on how you wish to carry. Now, for example, let's say we want to have this thing ride super high up in the belt for maximum concealability. We would put our, line up our screws, and then and there we have it. Belt loop is gonna be done there. And if you so desire, you can have your belt loops be like this. If you have a very stiff belt, this is probably not gonna work very well. Having it set up like this will give you the highest ride height option. So the belt will come through towards the bottom of the holster. This is going to push it, the butt of the gun, or the handle of the gun, closer to your armpit. Now, this is more challenging to draw from concealment if you have it concealed because you have to raise your garment up much higher to clear that concealing garment. Also, you have to raise your drawing hand a lot higher on your elbow. So if you are in a tight spot like a vehicle 
or in some other confined space that may be very challenging to do. We recommend that you adjust the holster many times till you find how you want it. Now you may already know how you want it. The stock configuration, the way that it comes in, may be just fine for you, but you do have that option to adjust it how you see fit. When you get your holster in the mail, you will have extra screws, extra hardware, just in case something gets lost or one of them gets stripped out or you name it, extra hardware is included. Also, we include Loctite. And I cannot stress this enough, Loctite is required for your holster. Loctite prevents the screws from backing out over time and it is critical on the screws that hold the belt loops. There are instructions on the back on how to use it. I would recommend watching some YouTube videos to kind of get a better idea of how it works. Well, thank you guys for taking the time to join me today. I appreciate you watching this video all the way to the end. If you have any questions, please feel free to email us. Our contact information can be found on our website at www.shadowdefensive.com or post a comment in the video and I will get back to it as soon as I can. Anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Stay safe and as always, stay strapped.